welcome to our big skating bearings guide. This video is sponsored by and made in collaboration with Topskate.dk, your experts in skating equipment. You can find the link below. So in today's video, we're gonna take you through everything you should consider and have in mind when you're out buying a new set of bearings. By saying that, I mean the Abex system, the weight of the bearings, the lifetime, the price, and obviously how fast they go. So in order to do that, we collected a few different samples here um, that we're gonna compare to each other and that's gonna guide you to what is actually worth this money and what you should look for next time you purchase a set. First off, we got this full ceramic bearing. Uh, we got this Bionic Swiss bearing. And then we have this no-name China bearing. And lastly, we have the junk, the brand new junk bearing. First off, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the Epic system. This is a pretty old grading system that was made to determine how precise the bearings are. And in skating, this really doesn't matter a lot because you insert the bearings inside some, um, some plastic hub, uh, which is gonna be pretty imprecise anyways. And this is really not what matters for how long they, they can um, stay efficient or for how fast they go. So you don't want to look too much into that and you definitely don't want to spend more money because of a higher epic number. The weight of the bearings. So we weighed all these bearings and found out they weigh just about the same. There is no more than 3% weight difference going from the heaviest to the lightest bearings. So this is really not going to make a difference, especially not if you look at how big a difference there is between different wheels, different frames and different boots. So don't care about the weight of your bearings. The roll. Well, I think we all can agree that the first thing we look at when it comes to bearings, how fast are they? How well do they roll? And surprise, there's not that big a difference. When you look at the different bearings, uh, no matter the price range, they almost all roll quite about the same. So what you do want to care about is the lifetime of the bearing, because this is where we found the biggest difference. Ceramic bearings are completely closed, so they're going to last a whole lot longer. Unlike the super cheap China bearings that are gonna fall apart almost, rust extremely fast. Um, even if you're not skating in the rain, they're just gonna collect so much dust and they're just not gonna roll smoothly anymore. The lifetime and sustainability of your bearings is very important. And this is also where we found the biggest difference when we compare the expensive ones to the cheap ones. So if you're using no namers from China, they're not gonna last that long and they're gonna be very inefficient and not run smoothly after just a short while of skating, not even in the rain, but just with a bit of dust. That is the main reason you wanna spend a little more money getting some better bearings because they simply last longer. We did the spin test right away off the package. They were about the same. Once we redid the spin test after having tried these wheels, we did find that obviously ceramic bearings are gonna run better because they're completely close to dust and any water. But we did also find that if they're cleaned and maintained properly, these mid-range bearings, the junk wheels or junk bearings and the Bionic Swiss actually run pretty well as well. Um, so what you do want to look into when you're buying your bearings is the lifetime and our last little point, the price of it, because this is going to make a big difference. Ceramic bearings cost hundreds of dollars. So even though they're sustainable, they can last forever, they're extremely pricey. Um, that's why I recommend you to go for something mid-range. Uh, my best pick would be the Bionic Swiss, simply because they're very affordable, but they're of very high quality. The junk bearings are evenly good. They even have a nylon shield to the back of it, so they can cover dust, sand a little more, and it's not made of metal, so it won't even rust. We really hope this video could help you out when you're gonna pick your next set of bearings. If you have any questions, you can ask us in the comments below or you can just write us directly on topscape.dk. Uh, thanks a lot for watching this video and we hope you wanna take a look at the other product videos that we have on the channel. You can just click on my face below and um, you'll find it. See you next